Welcome to the evening Bible study. Are you a good investigator? Bible reading is John 20, 19 to 31. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were, were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father had sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas called the twin. One of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see his hands, I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger in the print of the nails, and put my hand in his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look at my hands, and reach your hands here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet have believed. And truly Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Lord, we pray that you will guide us now by your Holy Spirit as we look at this passage. We pray, Lord, you will direct and open our minds and our hearts to hear what you have to say to us. We ask it in your name and for your sake and glory. Amen. And so our topic is Good Investigator. And I want to ask again, are you a good investigator? It's very important, you know, to be that. Careful investigation, careful invitation, careful illumination, and careful information. So I'm sure these are important things to think about. Good investigator. What kind of an investigator are you? As you uh, look into this. You know, are not like this man? Yeah, he's maybe a doubting investigator. Colombo was a great investigator, Lieutenant Colombo. Uh, and he really was able to look into cases and uh, amazingly the leads he could get. And, but are you a skeptic you know, of all this? The Hebrew News was great headlines. Thomas Doubts. Uh, I need proof. You know, is that what they, uh, the journalists, uh, you know, checked out, checking out Thomas? It was quite something. And so, you know, doubting leads you in the wrong direction. Confidence, confidence in what you hear and told, faith in the, the word of God. Careful investigation. Now Thomas called the twin. One of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. That was quite amazing. 
So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my fingers into the print of the nails and put my hand in his side, I will not believe. What an opportunity for the disciples. How amazing it was. And, and even for Thomas too, you see, but he was the great thing. And they, of course, are very important. They're eyewitnesses. What a disappointment for Thomas you know, to not be there. He missed out on that. Why he didn't get was there, I don't know. <clears throat> so, and after eight days, his disciples were again inside. And Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. All this was happening on the first day of the week, the second, you know, the Sabbath, that the day, the Sunday, you know. Jesus, he purchased our peace. How wonderful, isn't it? It was very costly and it was very important that he purchased our peace for us. You know, peace, perfect peace in this dark world of sin. The blood of Jesus whispers peace within. And so then he said to Thomas, reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hands here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. Faithless would be no use, would it? Well, there's more than a senior moment. We can never see your moment, but this is more than that, and this is an amazing event to meet the risen Lord Jesus Christ. What a challenge for him. A lapse of faith, eh? Good help. Doubting what? What to do? What would you doubt? Well, the nail prints. And there was to tell us that uh, the nail the print in the nails, the nail, the nail into the hand would, uh, wouldn't would stand crucifixion. The weight of the body would pull it out. In the Greek, you know, there's no mention of the wrist in, in the Bible. But it just made hands. And so when he'd show away his hands, he would see the wrist as well, most likely. So careful elimination. Verse 18, the eyes of your understanding. Yeah, we, our eyes, inner eyes, you know, the eyes of the soul. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. What riches, you see. Spiritual riches, of course. And the hope of eternal life. But... Some people might say, well, it, will it pay my rent? It'll not meet the, 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 the bills. But you see, here is something more important because it's beyond all that, you know. And, and it's so great, isn't it? It's our eternal well-being. Jesus' home is eternal and freehold. He's purchased it his precious blood on the cross of Calvary. And it's eternal for us. For this time, these to here is just a short time and passing quickly. And eternity is long. Eternity a, a separated. Eternity in hell would be terrible. The free vacancies until Jesus returns. Isn't that great? A great offer, you see. A home, eternal home for us. The elimination. Thomas answered and said to him, he was illuminated now. My Lord and my God. What a wonderful convincing. What a wonderful confidence. He's my Lord, he's my Saviour, and he's my God. He's mine. That was great, wasn't it? And and he 
I'm sure I didn't have to even to investigate it all. There it was, he made the greatest statement, the great confession of faith, a great testimony to her believing faith. He's my saviour, sovereign, and my creator, God. Verse 29, Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Yeah, you have seen and believe. But there are others believing who uh, <laughs> listen to these facts and listen to your testimony, listen to what you said. And they're going to be a blessing for them because they have not seen but they have come to faith because it's faith, you know, faith is just believing what God says he will do. So then careful information. What are we doing about this information? Are you learning from Thomas? You know, learning there, you know. And he's a great eyewitness that. Are you very careful with divine truth? That is what's important. It was divine truth. Of course, that was only divine truth, the scriptures in the making. But now it's real, it's cast iron, it's, it's the real word of God for us. Verse 30, and truly Jesus did many other signs, many, a multitude of signs, in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. You know, there's a tsunami of evidence that uh, they would say. Oh, so much evidence for us. And so that is so wonderful. It's not secretive. Nothing held back. And that is great. But miraculous signs. So miraculous signs. How wonderful it was. You see. And these were all, these signs are there. So many of them in John's Gospel. But here is the miraculous signs about his um, resurrection. How great it is. How wonderful. And it's all proving that he is the Messiah, the Sent One. How wonderful. How good. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. What a great opportunity. What a great testimony then, you see. How wonderful this way is opened up for us to believe and to trust in the Lord and to know that he's opened up the way to heaven and there's a door open in heaven and he's paid the price of all. Rose again victorious o'er the grave. Victorious. God informs us. You see. That's the great thing. We have the information. We have to dwell upon it. And it's written down there for us, cast out, written, the written word of God to take in and to believe. God wants us to believe. He wants us to take note of it. That is the great thing. And to be a good investigator of these things. It's just so wonderful. And it will be rewarded at the end, you know. Rewarded with eternal life. Rewarded with being with Jesus forever and ever. It's the greatest opportunity, isn't it? Not to miss out on. Fantasy. Well, it's not fantasy. Fantasy is no use. Uh, uh, and even feelings, you know, change. Not a lot of it. It's fact, isn't it? Facts. The facts of these things uh, uh, cannot be, um, you know, disproved. Now, they're all those facts and those evidences are all there for us to take note of and to think about. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that what is there all here that you may know that you have eternal life. To know we have eternal life is so wonderful. And that you may continue to believe in the name of the Son of God. So it's, it's a present continuous. It's to continue on for all eternity. How great, how wonderful, how mighty. 
And so it's what? It's great assurance now that verse. Two verses. Great assurance, giving us great hope and blessing. And we need to be a good investigator to investigate these and to come to the facts of it and see that it cannot be disproved. Good investigator. Thomas was a good eyewitness. It's so wonderful. We have his testimony. Why? are believers blessed. They're blessed because they have put their faith and trust in, and it's faith in facts. Not in fiction or no, not in, in, in fantasy or not in uh, 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 anything, feelings, you know, not our feelings you know, are going by. But it's in the fact of the word of God and the believing in it. And it's great words of assurance, isn't it? And so we want to thank you for listening and signing in and we pray indeed that God bless you and you can visit the website for again for further details. Let's pray. Our gracious God, we thank you for your goodness, your mercy and your love to us. Pray, Lord, your leading and guiding. We pray, Lord, your help and strength. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will just guide us by your Holy Spirit to put our faith and trust in you alone. And in these great events that you will believe them. 